letters, watermarkers. Boys. What'd you say, J.R.? B-U-O-Y-S, boys. I'm terribly sorry to be late, old man, but I've had a perfect stream of phone calls ever since I got home from the office. How long have you been waiting? Half an hour. Oh, dear. Miss Grieve, this is Lieutenant Novak. How do you do? Very pleased to meet you. Let the McGuire come out. Just for a moment. Well, let me tell you something, boy. If I did give you power, you got nothing! Nobody gives you power. Real power is something you take. Let me put it this way, Mac. I got a lot of respect for a guy that's doing what he's got to do, even if maybe it's killing him. And then a fellow like you comes along who's not thinking too much about them things. It starts you wondering. Wondering if maybe you're not missing something. You took my oil wells and my money and my sweetheart, and I never got a cent for them. Well, that's ancient history. Well, what do you want? Money. For what? The only thing I have that you can get. It's heavy. She'll understand that. She'll have a heart attack. Does she have a bad heart? No, but that won't stop her. Well, you know, she might not be as upset as you think. The day I was born, she called and reserved a banquet room for my wedding. When I tell her, what's the worst thing she can do? Have a nervous breakdown, then commit suicide. Maybe you'd better tell her. My mother always said how much you enjoy the chase. Even more than the capture. Your mother is a remarkable woman. Have I been too easy? The general will be right with you. Thanks, Sergeant. Well, Dr. Grayson has a cure for all your ills. But I told you you would have your own space over here, and that's the way it'll be. I'm glad you're a man of your word. Well, I mean, between the beaches, the nights, all this atmosphere, I wouldn't want you to fall in love with me for the wrong reason. Honey, you heard anywhere? Maybe. You know her, huh? She belong to you? Sweetie, we're going to take you swimming now, huh? You want to go swimming with us? Huh, sweetie? You like to swim? You ever been in the water? Huh? Have you? Pam didn't go to France alone. You remember I told you Mark Grayson made one of his jets available to her? Well, what I didn't tell you was, he was on it. He went with her? Yes. I just couldn't let you go there without well, knowing that. Pom -pom. <laughs> Excuse me, Cunningham. Sure, Higgins. Jimmy, can I talk to you? Sure. Come on, we'll have a malt. Jimmy, where are you going? With Jill. She's a pom-pom. And Kit accused me of flirting. Well, you know me. I probably was. Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready to settle down yet. That's nonsense. I'm not going to marry him, J.R., and that's all there is to it. And nothing you do can make me change my mind. What your duties were supposed to be? He said we were to keep order, to take care of anybody who got out of line. And before the meeting in question, did Powers give you any specific instructions? Yes, sir. He said there was one troublemaker who might show up. Did he say whom he meant? Yes, sir, Martin White. Now, in words or substance, did Powers say what to do about Martin White? He said if he opened his mouth, to let him have it. Just butt out, Bobby. It's none of your business. And I'm not going to sit around and let you cause trouble. How do you intend to stop it? That child in there is mine. You really don't care how many lives you destroy, do you? As long as you get what you want. How many Ewing lives? Miles, me. No. No, I really don't. All I ever hear about my Pa is just lies or legends or made-up stories in the newspapers. Just, just once, I'd like to know some truth about my pa. Ain't much I could tell you, even if I had to mind you. No, sir. Then stop serving me. 
when we're wrong, that is, and sit down here. Well, you're everything I heard you were. Worse. You ain't seen nothing yet, boy. I've seen all I need to see. Why don't you go? But you already have. Chris, would you mind putting that pipe out? What? Well, it smells funny. Well, this is very good tobacco. Well, I don't care. To me, it smells like chicken feathers. <laughs> I am so confused about what's going on in my life right now that I don't know what to do. And I, I'm not proud of what I've done to you or Sam. And I just need some time to find out if I'm ready to make a commitment. Donna, we can work this out together. This man has a name, Mark Harris, and he has rights. I know his name, and I know his rights, and I don't need any red orders from you. Yes. I say yes to the Admiral. Daddy, you gave me the authority to open those wells, and nobody closes them but me. Would you close them? You know damn well I wouldn't. If Cliff Barnes has a legal right to half the profits of those wells, then that's just something we live with. Joe, tell me what you think when you kiss me. When I kiss you? <laughs> you look, that's not fair. But Joe, we hardly know each other. Hardly. It's been almost three weeks. Three weeks, that's 21 days. From the day you brought that girl into this house, you've neglected her. First with the business, then with other women. You didn't even bother to be discreet most of the time. I don't know why she didn't leave you years ago. What are you doing here? Well, Tracy and I were just doing some shopping around the corner, so I, I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Look, I can't see you now. Can't you see him? Busy! It's just that things gone so rotten. Oh, baby, I understand. Was it some kind of trouble with the film? I thought this producer was going to give me a real break. I saw you ride, Jerry. Real good. Well, thank you. It's not hard being good. It's uh, something you like doing. Isn't it? We knew each other very well. I didn't know a better way of earning money for a nurse's course. Special Agent Smith. Mm. It's a bargain. I understand you've searched the other passengers. I hope you don't expect to include me. No, I'll um, not be insisting. You won't? Then maybe you're not the William Smith I knew in Singapore. You wanted a free hand? I made it possible. You didn't want to go through the board? I paved the way for you. And this is how you repaid my trust. The hour is midnight. And all is still, we see the stagecoach climbing up a hill. But why didn't you bring her home? I was worried sick about she her. She didn't want to go home. After catching you in bed with that Harwood woman, she didn't feel she had a home. Now, Sir Wellen's whole life is based on your promise to be faithful. Now, Harry, this says Palmer and Hayden booked into the Palace, New York. I know it does. Well, when I say the Palace, New York, would anybody say that except some fool stenographer who wasn't paying any attention? What do you mean? Well, there's only one palace, Harry. You know that. Nobody has to tell you where that is. You know, you're getting to sound just like one of them... one of the Ewings. I only want what's coming to me. I don't want to see Jack Ewing flat broke. Linda! Doug. Pal, what are you doing here in Honolulu? Well, of all the nice people, how nice to see you. Who said I was following you around? I'm here with some friends and got bored and went for a little walk. Of course, I was hoping I might run. Okay, I'm following you around, but in a very refined way. Better be careful. As Clayton can tell you, folks used to say I wrestle mountain lions down in San Angelo. <laughs> Please don't Lady Monford me to death. I answer to Jesse. She's also shy. How are you? Big Bart Jackson. It's my gang. Dexter Kreitz. Whorehouse Lucky Jim. Little Queen High Street. Well, you ain't gonna appreciate this, Judge, but I caught me a flush. Lucky. How many? Got a pat hand. So do I. 
I have, how do you say, before our sex is over. We should have got hitched a long time ago. I guess I just needed to lose you to realize that. Oh, Ray, that's so sweet. You've been sweet right along. Hello there, my name is Hope. You bought me once, J.R., and you can't do it anymore. I am no longer for sale. Hey, Plover's taking the mail launch today to pick up our three bottles of scotch. Did he make the deal? Sure, with the Admiral's dining steward. And, and cheap, only 75 bucks a bottle. Maybe we got a liberty. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, some cruddy island a thousand miles from here needs another box of toothpicks. Even if I had the money, which I don't right now, I wouldn't give you a nickel. Now, come on, just show me how dumb you really are. Touch a hair on my head, I'll have you back in prison before nightfall. Now get out of my office. 